This is Sunny back with another video and today real quick I just want to show you guys I'm working on this project right now basically I bought a server and I'm planning on like building a uh, server with like ESXi so basically with ESXi I can install different different uh, platforms so real quick I'm just gonna show you guys the server and the spec I paid like hundred and fifty dollar and it's well worth that it's the HP uh, DL360 uh, G7 the size is uh, 1U so let's just uh, show you guys real quick so as you guys can see the server right here and the model is uh, as you guys can see right here okay so the DL360 G7 okay uh, HP ProLint uh, DL360 G7 okay I can install four hard drive to get like 300 each and then maybe raid all this so yeah and also let me show you guys uh, inside alright so basically this server comes with one processor but if I want I could install one more processor uh, here but um, for now I have like one, uh, one processor here and I believe I have like um, 6 gig RAM but I will uh, upgrade those RAMs to maybe at least 32 gigs also I installed a graphic card there it's not necessary to have a graphic card but I had a um, I had a like a real cheap graphic card laying around uh, as you guys can see GeForce GTX at 620 so basically I'm just using that graphic card because I can only install like a single slot graphic card as you guys can see right here all right, so that's the only graphic card. The server I have comes with two power supply, 460 watt each, as you guys can see right here. So if you have both of the power supply connected, and anytime one power supply fill, the other one will automatically pick up. So, so the processor this server came with is 5506. The processor it came with, I'm gonna replace that processor with a. Uh, X5660 so I'll have a 6 core processor in there with uh, maybe 32 gigs of RAM or 64 gigs of RAM I'm not sure yet but I'm planning let's see what so happened basically uh, you can pick up the server for like uh, you know installing like uh, ESXi and uh, try out different different platform you know you could learn a lot by just messing around with it so that's my plan but my main thing basically I'm gonna have like a little space there for like uh, saving my uh, some of the editing some of the intro uh, some of the after effect uh, nothing like huge but I wanna uh, I have a Buffalo link station but I don't really I, I can't really rely on the Buffalo link station so that's the reason I got this server it's for hundred and fifty dollar you can't go wrong like I said the once I replace the processor and install some install some RAM like uh, 32 gigs of RAM should be perfect I just want to keep you guys on the low so it's always good to uh, know stuff about server so, you know, so I'm still new uh, new to this server thing but I'm learning and I'll definitely share with you guys whenever I do something so when I upgrade that I'll definitely share with you guys but if you're pick if you're planning on picking up a used server and you're planning to like mess around with it definitely go with the HP uh, ProLine uh, DL360 1U it doesn't take so much space because as you guys can see 1U is basically like as you guys can see it's really really thin so it's a bit heavy but it's, it's good trust me for the money it's definitely good so let me know what you guys think if you guys have any other question you know let me know I'll be more than happy to answer you guys for now I just wanted to keep you guys on the loop and uh, I'll have some videos on the server stuff so yeah let me know. Peace.